Every one of you watching this screen, look out. Anything can happen in the next half hour. What did I tell you about cartoons? They've got a lot of brains, and they've got a lot of good parts. Tell me how comic books make you feel, Dave. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me sure. Hello, this is Franz Cantor, cartoonist, illustrator and toon talker, and I'm here with... Kim Bridges, and I'm the president of the Australian Cartoon Museum here at downtown Docklands, Melbourne, Australia. Oh, and down, down under Docklands. Docklands yes, down under. and we've just got out of uh, lockdown. Under down. Un- we've just got out of our under downs. <laughs> well, it's, it's not that early. It's freezing cold. It's winter here, so we've got uh, so we smells thought, of penguins we here. Thought we, we thought we'd look through the looking glass today. I used to come from Sydney and, you know, the heights of uh, Bondi Junction, which is the highest point in, in Australia, probably. But in your case, imagination. In my is. imagination. <laughs> um, we get, it gets very windy, and uh, we used to say you could smell penguins all the way from Antarctica. Antarctica. Cold winds. Yeah, but it's, it's you know it's, it's not cold in Sydney. It is very cold. Oh, it gets very cold. You obviously haven't been to Tasmania <laughs> or Victoria. No, even though you live here. I haven't been to the mountains. I haven't seen snow in my life. Um, it's, it's, it's like that. It's, it's, <laughs> it's white. white. Alice through the looking glass. Yes. And what and Alice, what Alice found, there. found there in the looking glass. And now, what we're going to find this today. This face. This is this is really interesting. If you grew up looking at the Tenniel, uh Alice. Um, the original drawings. The original drawings. Yeah. And we've all seen them. This is illustrated by Ralph Steadman. And yes, we've which talked is, about Ralph which is probably before. There are thousands of people who have tried to illustrate this book, literally. If you start collecting Alice in Wonderland books, you'll never, you'll never get to complete a collection of different artists. Yeah, um, but somebody this is one of the great ones. This is one of the great ones. Rather, so. rather than, than sticking a price tag on there, they opted to cut it out of the paper. Oh, I think that was their name. Oh, was it? Yeah, I think they had their We're name. We're just in the corner. Oh, well. Yeah. And of course, um, <coughs> if you haven't read the book, it's, it's all, all about, about a chess. It's all about a chess. And in particular, the red versus the white rather than traditional, the black and white. Yeah, so there's a red queen and a white queen. Mm. Anyway, let's get stuck into it. Once upon a time, there's a that's uh, that's near the end of the book, and yeah, that's, that, that's the White Knight. Let's the, wait for the White Knight to come at the end. Yeah, but that's it, the White Knight, and it, he he drew him as um, his head was uh, Lewis Carroll. Yeah, yeah, and this is funny because he's he's um, he's given this book to Anna. He's educator. Sorry, he's he's um, yeah. Th- he's given this to Anna. Yeah, uh, but, for Anna. But he's got this here, which is the whole reflection. Yeah, so N-A. both the reflection, which is you know the theme of the book, and chess. What's the year? What's the year under publication? Uh, 1972. Okay, and what's the publication? It's published by um, by Third Printing. Uh, it's published <laughs> by. Um, I can't even see that. You can have a general publishing company limited. Go to the front. So, general publishing. Potter, it says. Oh, okay. Okay, we've got to get the It's published right. by Harry Potter. This is, uh, this is lovely. We're going to talk about this. Uh, as we get on, you'll start to see something quite uh, familiar. And you won't know why, and I'll tell you why. But I'm not going to tell you why until we get to the actual shot. Um, so, I mean... Look at this scribbling... This is the, the chest, chest panel the, the that falls checker. over. Yeah. And she hangs on to it. Yeah. And, like, she's a much more mature Alice. Yeah. The hair is very off its tree, isn't it? I mean, it's... it's it's but Kitty hasn't grown up. Kitty's the same. No, but he, he gets it, gives him the chance to play with all this line. Look. Yeah. He gives him all that chance. And look right? at this with the curves. With yes. The, you know, the, the flexible curves the that hip, he used to do. They're hypnotic. Parallels. They're hypnotic. Parallels. They? They're hypnotic. Mm. 
hypnotic. Well, there's a combination. There's a surreal quality to this. You know, yeah. there's some traditional uh, cross hatching, but there's also this surreal quality to this, which is reminiscent of a dream. But he really, he really um, fosters the black and white contrast in this book. Yeah. So this is her on about to go into the mirror. Yeah. And this is her coming out of the mirror. Yeah. And of course, so the clock. You're in reverse. Because in reverse, so the back of the else. clock is someone else. Yes. Yeah, so the, the the music on the stand is, is in reverse. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, it's not a perfect mirror reflection. It's no. not designed to be, but it's. But he's used he's used the gutter of the book as yeah. as the transition. As, yeah. Which is interesting. He he does that a lot in the book. But what you see in the original book, mm. uh, when Alice goes into the it's it's in the, it's a, it's a, a full page drawing. Yeah. And when you turn the page over, it's a reverse. It's it's a complete reverse, and it's perfectly registered. You can hold it up to the so, light. Yes, yeah, you hold it, it up. Yeah. If the child holds it up to the light, it's like they've she's passed through the page, and that's the effect um, that he was after. That, that Dodson was after. Look at what these beautiful uh, renders of chess um, architecture, or chess piece. Um, you know details. The, the sort of the. You know the um, what do they call that lathe thing? Yeah, well, he's, on, he's sticking turned, on a. He's turned lathe. them into uh, fashion statements, hasn't he? Yeah, and there's just the like, lumps of coal. Yeah, and you can see now he's sort of given this sort of beautiful tonal uh, quality to the illustrations. So it starts out very linear and very white. And then he's got this sort of yeah. splatter. He does this all the time. He yeah. Almost like he has four different drawings in one picture. Yeah. Well, also there's a tonal thing which gives it a little bit more weight. Yes. Otherwise it'll just be um, very thin and um, wispy. Well, it's almost triangular, isn't it, going up? Yeah. And this is funny too because <clears throat> that's Alice picking up the piece. That's the White Queen. And look at all the... the, the the lines on yeah, this. so there's a lot of speed lines yeah. here, but that's which extraordinary. You'd have to you, you've to. never seen speed lines like that. No, they're nice and clear, aren't they? But yeah. you can see here the beginning of the uh, double exposure of the eyes. Yeah. So it's like a strobe effect of movement. Yeah. It's an interesting um, uh, concept, but you can see here is Alice's hands. Just these beautiful hands. We'll talk about the hands and yes. the face. As we get into the um, the book itself, um, it's referenced from something very particular. This is the Jabberwocky, or his version of the Jabberwock, which is um, this. Um, there's the knight. Um, Jabberwocky is based on a poem within the within the book. He's standing on the works of Lewis Carroll. Yeah. Mm. So it's it's based on the. Um, uh, on, on a story within the book, but look at this is very, very visceral and 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 um, almost scarf like uh, mm. in the guts and and Scar details. Scarf and... was obsessed with scarring, yeah, because he saw a lot of scarring from burn victims in the Vietnam War, and he put a lot of he, yeah. he put that into his work. Yeah, and so these are tiger lilies. He, he, and this is the, the land, this is again. The landscape. The landscape is always, always on. Yeah, and the tiger lilies. Yeah. And, and look, look at her face. She's and they're the roses. Yeah, she, she has a conversation. She's not a little with. girl anymore. She's sort of like no. A, she's a, she's a woman. She's a, There's a reason why you'll see in a moment um, when we get to that really? particular spot, uh, which that I'll explain spot. to you. Okay. Look at the hair here. Isn't yeah. that beautiful? It doesn't render it off. It just ends it there with a beautiful cut. And she's been dragged by the red queen. Yeah. In this case. And again with the strobed face. Yeah. To, to the, represent showing yeah. movement. And of course, that's why he's got the the, the undrawn leg here because mm. she's moving. She so hadn't even even done the, the foot. No, it's a pity. Um, well, that's, it, there's a foot there. Yeah, it's it's lost in the gutter. But the yeah. you know the, this sort of um, no, but there's her other foot. Yeah, well, the yeah. double exposure is is quite. But um, she had he hadn't even bothered to finish off the socks. Is what I'm saying. You know? No, well, and of course, it's because it's moving. The landscape is. This yeah. is the landscape. Yeah. It's a chessboard, but it goes Look up. Look at the contrast. Yeah. There. And the horses. I like this idea because it's, it's the landscape, and landscape's not all flat, and of course, you can fold over a chessboard in the middle. He's using all these that's ideas. That's true, yes. Using I never thought of ideas, that. That's, using all that's why ideas. that's there. Yeah. So he's having a pun, having a play with the idea of the checkerboard, of the, of the chessboard. And it goes so. back to this. this the um, gutter. Yeah. Well, and the, the mirror reflection. Look. Yes. So, so one yes, outside the mirror and one inside the mirror. Yeah. It's wonderful. Which doesn't make sense at this stage, but no. But you know, she gets it. on a train, and, and um, 
the, the inspector comes along and he wants all the tickets. Mm. And that's... Magic roundabout. Magic and roundabout. And noddy and uh, goatee and... This looks like uh, an escapee mm. out of the... the <laughs> Their uh, yellow submarine. Film. Yeah, this was a the blue meanie. This was a cute. That looks cute, like a, ni- a turn of the century, so nineteen yeah. twenties or as yeah, cute nineteen tens. Yeah, and they're all got tickets except Alice. Cute That's Alice. Line. She's got a hat on. This day. Yeah, you can see she's clearly older here. Yeah, yeah. So and look at all this line. 20s. Look at all this wonderful. You've got all this. What's the word? Parallel Almost geometric line. Yeah, with combined all with this beautiful pen work. Yeah, and cross hatching. All the different types of styles yeah. in the picture, plus the styles of these characters. Mm. This features quite a lot too. These are sort of they look like children's um, sandals, leather sandals. Yeah, well they are. That, yeah. that, that comes up in a couple of spaces here because it sort of gives a very um, strange um, ness, strangeness to the uh, to the illustrations, to the narrative. And look at all the different lines in that, all the black here and the squiggle here and mm. all the stuff. He's obviously... It's paint by numbers. He's, yeah, he's having thing. fun, isn't he? Yeah. He's having fun. Like... I mean, he probably didn't. He There's might a have been working. Rocking horse fly. Yeah, he might have been working to a, a schedule, and he was behind time, and he just had some fun by doing this. Because, you know, painted by numbers. Both of us aren't familiar with the book, so it may be in the text. I don't it's, know. No, the text does. The text is not. It is and not. of course, here, see every chapter, Tweedledee, Tweedledum. Yeah, it's a it's mirror, mirror image. effect to it. As well, and there's is, Tweedledum, Tweedledee, yeah. as the little businessman again yeah. with the mirror concept again. See how the f- you know? the fold of the tie is that way, and it's on the other way, mm. you know. And how the the pants, the, the paint, the exact same thing except this guy does board and he doesn't have stripes. <coughs> yeah. mm. Very and, all, and all this, this yeah, next like to like that buildings, this next to that, mm. it's incredible. Yeah, and this is uh, the um, the walrus and the carpenter. Yeah, so that's a whole story. So of course uh, you'll remember that from um, Alice in Wonderland, the cartoon, which of course is not in Alice in Wonderland, but it is in um, the Looking Glass. And not, there's another poem as well, which is the Jabberwock. This is, um, well, yeah, you, you can't trust Disney to stick to the script. No, he, you know, he in, disappropriated in the original, in the original Pinocchio. The original. He kills um, he kills Geppetto on the second page. That doesn't happen in the film. <laughs> Pinocchio kills him. Yeah, he kills Geppetto, who, who, who built him. This is fascinating. This is one of my favourite drawings. It's mm. just fascinating with the, what, what he does so with the circles. It's looking down the barrel of a chess piece. Yeah. How, how you sort very, of very have this sort of optical art mm. in, involved in illustration. Mm. Mind you, with well, Alice... Well, just fitting for that dream sequence. Yeah, and this, 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 this um, quality of this Dali-like lines of yeah. landscape yeah. that... The you know, Infinite Plane. Jim Sterenko used in, in Marvel Comics. In Nick Fury, yeah. Yeah. And this again, boom, and all these lines. Oh, look mm. at the pants. Mm. That's obviously um, Tweedledee. Mm. Or, or Tweedledee. Yeah, Tweedledee. And he's got little um, we don't know what photographs that is. of uh, Fulham. Mm. don't know what that is. It's a thing. It's a badge or, or something. We don't know. But it's a photograph that he's sort of um, manipulated into the artwork here, which is good. So it's a, it's a very... Um, well, it's very British. Yeah. Bob ball hats. So, okay, let's talk about this. Now, the hands here and the face. This girl's face, you probably think, I've seen that person before. You have, in um, Botticelli's Venus, Rising from the Waves. So, Rising from the Shell. Yeah, including the uh, broken neck that Botticelli had uh, with uh, Venus. <laughs> so you've got the long hair, the expression is particularly telling. And he went around breaking The size neck. of the face, the shape of the face, the nose, and of course Botticelli's beautiful fingers, beautiful hands, which uh, he was uh, known for. So, you know, that's where this comes from. So it's a strange um, um, did, reference. Um, did Botticelli start the breakneck school of uh, art, didn't he? Uh, there's a, there's a, you'll have to, we'll have to talk about uh, that uh, another day, but um, you know it's something that uh, that is in- it's interesting why he's referenced her in this uh, this story. Yeah. He's a beautiful crow. She's not a little girl. No. 
I think that's probably why. But you and know, this um, is her and the white. This is her her and the white face. White uh, king, queen. Yeah. Because she's as she older. travels through her journey, she's on a chessboard. Yeah. So there's and there's all these jokes littered throughout the and quizzes mm. littered throughout it. Now this is very famous, yeah. um, and you'll probably be uh, quite familiar with this uh, illustration. Um, it looks like here, from this expression and this angle, it looks like a no a no mask. Like a you know Japanese um, oh, kabuki no. style ah, uh, mask yes. with the long hair. Yeah. So that's very very reminiscent of that, uh, which is interesting again oh, because the you know the co all the, water the and... composition is I'm unfamiliar with the composition, so it's obviously something that he's um, referencing probably uh, Japanese uh, um, yukoi. Uh, uh, um, well, illustrations a, and, and all this sort of stuff. This is probably Japanese yeah. art too. Well, Japanese but, illustrations but see, combine the further. narrative with decoration. He goes further because there's this mirror thing again. You see, there's the yeah. water that mirrors the other picture. Yeah, this and is he beautiful. breaks it all up. It's yeah. extraordinary. So, um, when when he launched his books, um, there was a special bookshop he always launched his books in, mm. and I and went there big. For, forty years ago. This is a large piece. It's about, about three foot by two or something. Yeah, two and a half maybe or two. Yeah, and it's it's up. It was framed and it's up in the in the bookshop I saw about forty years ago. Mm. Um, it's a wonderful piece. And look at this. Look, look at yeah, the very unusual composition for a book. Yeah, but you see the thing An is, if someone illustrated a book in this style, they'd stick mm. to that style. He mm. doesn't. Mm. He he he's pushing the envelope mm. all the time. Mm. Um, originally. Um, Humpty Dumpty, which is an old um, political yeah, um, European satire, movie. which became a, um, a, a, a kid's um, thing, um, he originally wasn't an egg. No. And Tenniel drew him as an egg, so he became an egg. Yeah. Can we go back to that page? Eggy. It's very... Yeah, bookshelves. It's very mechanical. Yeah. Well, it is. It's, it's a very ordered uh, cross hatch. Very here mechanical, and, but and again, in the context nice of this com, book, it's, nice, it's great uh, because you get a you get a change of all the incredible yeah. stuff. It, it's like a, a, a rest like period. A, yeah. Well, it's a play, isn't it? Yeah. It's a visual play, which is which is interesting. Um, going past things. So this is uh, I don't know the context of these, but look at these strange creatures again. It's a different uh, style. turn the page back. It's a totally different style again. Twas Brillig and oh, Slitty Toes the other. did Guru Gimble in the Wabe. Yeah. Well, Mimsy were the Borger Groves and the Nut Moms Wraith at the Gate. Which, so this uh, is what these are, the Mimsies. Yeah, so you'll remember that poem from Alice in Wonderland, the Disney film. But, um, you know, it's in this, in this book. That's where it comes from. It doesn't come from Alice in Wonderland. So this is really interesting um, <laughs> characters and interpretation of... Uh, that poem. And this is his earlier style. He did stuff like this very early. Yeah. So it's got that sort of chunky looseness about it. Um, look at the pants. Look, 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 look at the shoes, all the, the two-tone. Yeah, look at all this stuff. And look, look all the contrast of this, this to this. Yeah. This is almost, he's almost telling you what it's made of, mm. isn't he? You know, quite strong. Yeah. Shininess. Well, they, they look like the London... Um, um, how did he? How did he draw these? Street, how did he draw these? I mean, do you reckon he used rulers and all that sort of stuff yeah. here? And what about the curves? What about these things? How, well, how, the, these were probably are these, these by hand? One. Are these by hand? No. Oh, they're, they're probably done with uh, flexible curves, which are uh, like a and a bendy. And you reckon her hair was done the same way? With yeah. those extraordinary. You can't do it by hand. It has to be done. With it's it's of, uh, a curved machine. He must have incredible. If they are done by hand, he must have incredible. No, they're not done. <laughs> Incredible skill. Yeah, no. But you, you no one, I no mean, one does that. When Even bees are, are ruled. You know. So there's a, you know, there's a, there's a combination of technical pro, um, yeah. um, prowess, and uh, look at these. This, well, you know, this is interesting. This is a book. This is referencing a book. So these are the pages of a book. Well. Not necessarily. Okay. There's some sort of battle going on. Well, these are all re that's these Don are all literary. That, that's Don Quixote. Yeah, but these are all literary um, things, aren't oh, they? People from the past. Yeah. Well, you've got Scots. You've got Grenadiers. Mm. That's possibly um, Wellington. Yeah. It's weird. Beautiful, but weird. 
very strange. We're um, enjoying this. Uh, you, you know, you really should watch this film on the big screen, on, uh, on your big screen Yeah, TV on the big screen. Because um, there's, so much yeah, there's a lot of little details here which um, are very interesting. Look at you this know. panel. Look at this panel. It goes there and it goes out to there. Mm. That's one of that's possibly one of the most unique panels in a comic I've ever. Well, like, it looks like it's been folded. It's like yeah. all of these different folds. And this is a um, a rabbit. Well, but wouldn't that be the March Hare? No. It possibly is. Mm. I don't know. Um, we're at a disadvantage because we haven't read the second book. Mm. Now this is interesting because this is. The, there's the lion and there's the unicorn, which are the symbols on on the the, the British um, the, yeah, the, um, coat of arms. Yeah. And there's, there's the parliament. Yeah. Oh, the royal, the royal. See, there's the isn't the coronation. Royal. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. No, they're on the royal uh, signi oh, okay. signia. So they got know? rid of the lion. And obviously. of course, he's even got um, Elton John here. Mm. This is before Elton John was Elton John. Mm. And look at the hair again. Look at all the different. I mean, look at all these lines and all this stuff here. It's now, this is freehand. And then this. This is done with... The, I know it's freehand, but it's pretty curves. extraordinary because he's really yeah. playing with the idea of black and white, isn't he? Yeah, these are definitely flexible curves. You see how they go? They end off in points. So these are done with a, with a, um, uh, a dip pen, not, not a rapidograph. Yeah. So they do have a little bit of thick and thin quality. And he's sending up the British, isn't he? They're, they're all, you know... Um, did the carpenter have a, 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 a handkerchief on his head tied in the corner? I can't remember. No. Oh, he might have. I, I don't know. So we're back to the chess again. Yes, yeah, so the world There's of the, the chess. There's the white queen going the, um, berserk. Look at her hands. Look at those hands. Mm. And yeah, look at these hands. Look at these hands. Look at them. This is such an extraordinary image, isn't it? And look at her. Mm. And it's folded. What's going on here? It's the fold in the board, isn't it? No. Well, there's a mirror. No, it's a different yeah, the mirror. mirror thing. So it's yeah. still coming in and out of the mirror. Well, he's playing with the idea. Yeah. So, um, because that's, that's, that's right, because everything on the there's other side the is unicorn. sort of reversed. Happy birthday, um, Eunice, is it? No, Queenie. Happy yeah. birthday, Queenie, says so it's a queen. It looks like and the white queen. queen. She doesn't look, yeah, she, yeah, she doesn't look very happy. She's eaten a bit of cake, has she? No, it There's those chopped. sandals again, those child sandals. Yeah. Like plastic or... No, that'd be leather, I think. Leather sandals. Yeah, they look leather. Yeah. Interesting. And he's wearing... The lion's wearing the cricket jumper. <clears throat> Isn't that extraordinary drawing? Look at it. It's just... Mm. Look how long her hair is. It's just... Yeah. It's so evocative. I mean... What's so hairy? When, in the first book, when she falls down the well, mm. everybody draws their hair, you know, mm. um, going up in it. But this is just, this is, that's, that's got to be one of my favourite illustrations of all time. It's just so powerful and beautiful. Mm. Very evocative. Get your head out of the camera, Jim. This is using a negative um, um, effect yeah. to get you the, the feeling of the mirror. And this is the night. Um, it's all reversed. Yeah. That's interesting. It, it, it's, it also saves time, doesn't it? <laughs> it saves time. That's the White Knight. Who, who, who was uh, Lewis Carroll? There he is there. Yeah. That's Lewis Carroll. It's revealed. This yeah. lovely little hairy neck of the, of the horse. Yeah, look, there's so many things in this the fold of the board. You yes. Know, the board... It's to give you the idea that this is like a checkerboard. Like well, a he's board. fallen off his horse One as well. One of those things that, are, that have that ability yeah. to fold in half. He's fallen off his chest. And look how he's buggerizing around with his hair. Yeah. And look, look, look how mechanical his hand is at grabbing the hair and how all the lines all converge and then they all fold. And mm. It's just beautiful. Mm. Just beautiful. Yeah. The flexible curves. And then, um, and this as looks in all like John a Wayne, Doré effect. That is, yeah. Like multiple. Um, but this would have taken him a long door, time to draw. Multiple There's, lines. Um, There's Randolph the Scott going off into the sunset, leaving the girl. Mm. Look at her hair, the bow, at the back of her dress. Mm. And look, look at this. Nice. This is the. Yeah, the chessboard is now dissolving into the sunset. Yeah. It's a nice uh, little touch. And it's so good, 
it. This is, he's used it twice. Yeah. This time he's turned the head. That's like see, New so York, New York, so good they named it twice. Away. Yeah. Walking away. And, and so. this, yeah, Dore did this stuff with um, yeah. Dante's Inferno. Yeah. Yeah. And the Bible. Yeah. And the Bible, yeah. yeah. Noah's Ark and all that stuff. So this is um, Alice. Alice. As a queen. And here she, she is, she's um, developed. She's now a queen, which was the whole idea of the of the story yeah, so to a certain she, extent. Um, That's the subtext. And she's now developing it's a golden crown. She's developing breast, and you see a lot of her um, her underwears, yeah. her bloomers, whatever. It's good. So I look at all this, this stuff. Oh, we haven't finished yet. Just going to say. And here she is, uh, and, the, and she's usurped the other queens who are lying pooped and tired yeah. on her lap. So she's now the, the queen resplendent. <laughs> Extraordinary. Yeah, that's looking up the, up the skirts of the <laughs> white queen. Extraordinary. And she's bending, um, bending. and Yeah. yeah. Well, the, the chess sculpture mm, of, the, mm. of the chess piece mm. becomes, you know, the, the dress of the, uh, mm. of the queen, of the monarchs. Interesting. This is, uh, I don't know the reference of this, but it looks very vile, like the magic pudding. But look at the, um, the contrast. The hand. Yeah, the contrast. That he's done here. And the knife is, and these lines. You know, based here. on the beautiful these lines here with um, this. Botticelli's Venus. Ah, Botticelli's Venus. You'll have to get over that. Well, it's obviously referencing it. You would never have known, but you just I think kind you, of think, I think I've you, seen that face somewhere before. I and think of course you, you have. Have you missed her? No, you didn't. No. Okay. This is a, a whole bunch of uh, things where she's pulling the uh, tablecloth out and, yeah. and upsetting the game. This so is this is similar to the end of the um, yeah. first book where yeah. she um, upsets everybody. Yeah. This is interesting. Like, fed up. like the bottle of the wine is. Um, Got plates for wings and, and forks for legs. Mm. And you, like you look at that pig he's done in such a free hand, and, and yet is, he's got all this stuff at the uh, same. Yes, he's thrown in Picasso's Lagunica here. No, that's the. Yeah, no, he's done the horse. Yeah, well, he probably has. Yes. Yeah, he's thrown in a bit of Picasso. Uh, he's thrown in a bit, yeah. And a bit of Raven, a bit of um, Poe. Nevermore. Yeah. Nevermore. And a bit of uh, Kilroy. No, just Kilroy wasn't here. He wasn't here. Pepper. Kilroy wasn't here. Mm. Well, it's a very interesting and strange book. You know, after seeing this book, I, I feel like I need a bit of a rest from Wonderland. Um, it's <laughs> no, a bit disorienting. We're, we're not in Wonderland. We're in the Looking Glass. Well, mm. So, um, Alice Through the Looking Glass and What Alice Found There, illustrated by Ralph Steadman. Yeah. This is Franz Cantor and... Oh, and this is Tim Bridges saying um, we'll see you through the Looking Glass yeah, next and time. Please consider subscribing to our channel, it does help. And if you feel inclined, um, the links underneath, which will take you to our Patreon page, where you can um, uh, help us... Uh, Keep producing films of this uh, of this nature. And if you're interested in Alice um, uh, at all, we're about to um, we're, we're we're about to make about five films on the subject, all small little films on different aspects of the Alice um, series. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, um, I'll see you around like a record. Absolutely. Bye bye. Bye. Thanks for the sour persimmons, cousin.